Hi y'all, she was seven, I'm back. I am on my webcam with a headset on because I, <laughs> I moved and my camera, I dropped it, okay, I dropped my camera. So I ordered another one and it should be here sometime this week. So for now, I'm coming to you guys with this webcam, so. Here I am. I'm in my new space. This is my office slash filming room slash other room type thing. Okay, my bedroom is downstairs. Y'all no longer have to look at my bed <laughs> in the background. So um, as you can see, I'm still unpacking. I have some boxes back there that I probably have to sell a lot of that stuff because I no longer even you never know how much stuff you have until you move and how much junk you don't need until you get ready to unpack it and you're and pack it and you're like no okay so speaking of baggage <laughs> and stuff we don't need anymore let's get into today's subject which is keeping in touch with your ex okay I have a lot of ladies that write me asking me about their ex all the time you know is there still hope da, 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 da. he always calls me well how come he won't let me go if he doesn't love me anymore if you guys don't read the comments in my videos you guys should actually go and read comments from these guys okay a lot of guys use their ex-girlfriends when they're bored when they're lonely and when they want sex okay they always have them in their back pocket to where if their current girlfriend makes them mad, they can always go back and sleep with their ex. Or if they get bored and have no luck at the club that night, they can just call up their ex, okay? Because they know secretly they still want, you know, them back, will let them walk all over them and do whatever. So they keep their ex in their back pocket and, you know, give them false hope and, you know, lie to them a lot just to keep them available okay um and you know it's all part of the game if the woman is gullible enough to fall for that then you know it's a life lesson for her um i always suggest if if you break up with somebody and they keep calling you and want to spend time with you but then then they disappear after they get what they want you already know that they're just using you so if you are okay with that that's fine but don't expect anything more okay this is basically a friend with benefits at this point so don't expect anything more um you know um guys don't think like women women think in in terms of love and oh his feelings and emotions how does he feel about me guys go where things are the easiest and the simplest okay um uh, they're not as thoughtful as you know they don't think as much emotionally as women do so you have to get out of that thought process they're not thinking what you're thinking okay <laughs> um the i say the best way to get you know if you're trying to get that ex's attention if you're trying to get him back if you're trying to get the focus on you again the best thing you can do is start dating someone else someone better because as soon as the ex finds out or hears or sees that you're dating someone better than him, that's when he's going to want you back the most. When he can't have you and that when he sees that there's another person who values you, who's actually better than him. Okay, then he's going to start saying, hey, what did I give up? What am I missing? Um, I want her back now. She's valuable, you know. Um, and usually the woman is not going to want the ex back after she's had better, basically, you know. And this is the whole point of people breaking up, to move forward, not to stay the same, not to want the ex back, not to get, you know, uh, not to enter back into the same exact relationship, to break up the same exact way. I mean, if y'all watch YouTube, there are countless people in these crazy relationships who break up and make up. Um, and they talk about all their dirty laundry online and um, you know when you break up with someone it's it's the universe it's the universe it's the spirits it's the ancestors it's whatever you want to believe it's God it's whoever you want to believe showing you a different path this person is not for you okay move on 
I took them out of your life for a reason. Now get on with it. Move over. Try something new. Okay. Uh, I say this in a lot of my videos. If I had stayed with my ex, I would not be where I am today. Okay. Um, so uh, many times it is your escape into a better life when your ex leaves you. It might feel like heartbreak at the time. It might feel like someone just stabbed you a thousand times in your stomach. It might feel like betrayal. It might feel like, you know, you know, life has no meaning. But that might have actually put you up on the next level, okay? And you just don't know it yet. So instead of moving backwards, I always suggest moving forward, you know, finding taking that time to heal first of all taking that time to better yourself into a better person so that the next time you enter into a relationship or the next type of person you end up attracting you're going to be a better person so you're going to obviously have to attract a better person okay because if you stay the same if you're not improving if you're not becoming a better person you're only going to attract the same type of guy that you just left the relationship with, okay? You always constantly have to be improving, whether it's knowledge, whether it's looks, whether it's standards, whether it's whatever, okay? It's something, just pick something and improve, improve on it drastically, okay? Um, that way, the next time someone approaches you, you're not going to feel that you have to settle for them because, you know, you're not as good as the next person or the next woman because you have been working on yourself okay and I'm not just talking about physical looks I'm talking about spiritual I'm talking about mental I'm talking about all the aspects of a person okay um if you can't walk into a room and impress um a guy's colleagues or you know friends then you know that's something that you need to improve on impress them mentally you know be able to keep it up with the conversation, you know, uh, gain some perspective on, you know, different views of, you know, society. Uh, if you can, if you can walk in into a room and impress everyone in there by being able to hold a conversation, that's a plus because that means you can go anywhere and talk to anyone and feel comfortable and not feel out of place and, you know, impress people. Uh, hold conversation with potential new uh, relationships you know communication has a lot to do with it you know if you are not able to communicate on a certain level there are just certain people that you will not be able to attract that's just it you know we have some people that you know can't form a proper sentence and they want to marry you know a millionaire it's not going to work out for you okay you have certain people that, I mean, unless, you know, you meet someone um, who has a, a lot in common with you and who came from the same place as you came from and, you know, just think that you're the, the best thing ever. Yeah, anything is possible. But in general, you're not going to be able to get into the circles of certain types of people if your vocabulary is not on point, if your speech is not on point. If your intellect is not on point, if you don't know what's going on half the time, you know, you're not going to be able to attract those type of men. Okay, this is where a lot of women have issues. They don't, they can't hold a decent conversation. They, they use the word, huh, instead of excuse me. You know, you have to work on yourself. You have to improve yourself. You have to be able to go up and speak to people like you have some sense in your head. Okay. Um, you know, how you talk to your friends and family at home is, is different and, and perfectly fine. But when you go out into the world and you have to present yourself to the public or to new people that you're meeting or to colleagues or to your boss at work, you have to use certain language. And that's the same thing that you have to do when you go out and speak with other people um, that you're interested in, you know. So remember that. Impress, be able to impress someone. Um, and as far as your exes are concerned leave them in the past where they belong okay like I said ask any woman who left their ex and did better ask any woman what would their life be like if they had gotten their ex back they will be oh my 
my god I am so glad that I just let that go because guess where my ex is now you know he's you know he's broke and uh, got 10 kids and bald and you know this this is and that you know I would be right there if I had stayed with him you know in that mess so a lot of exes are good though they're they're the ones that got away they're the ones that you were just like too obsessed over they're just ones that you were so paranoid and worried about them cheating on you that you drove them away okay they just see you as crazy now okay so they're gonna call you there you have a label whether you know it or not most ex-girlfriends have a label okay the stalker the crazy one um <laughs> so which one are you you have to think about this okay which one are you are you the stalker are you the crazy one are you the one that uh was the doormat were you the one that was too nice and he left you for another woman were you the one that uh gave him everything and then when he got on his feet he left you for somebody else which girl which ex-girlfriend are you because if you're you know if you can figure out which one you are then you know why you guys broke up okay and instead of trying to get this person back figure out who you are and what you want in your future mate and work on that instead of working on how to get someone back who never wanted you or doesn't want you anymore figure out how to get something better okay uh, I always say this in my videos about treating ex-boyfriends like jobs you don't try to go back and apply for your old job over and over again you don't call up your old job and say hey are y'all hiring oh yeah I was fired last week but calling because I saw the ad they're not gonna hire you back okay they fired you for a reason okay or you quit for a reason if you quit a job you're gonna go back and reapply to the same job again hoping that things have changed no you move forward you move on and a lot of people will say but I loved him and there was a connection you know you can love anybody and have a connection with anybody okay so that's not a reason to move backwards and I think people should really understand that moving backwards is going to also start making other things go backwards in life. Now, there are couples that break up and then get back together and end up married. But when you're talking about, oh, I broke up for two years, broke up for six months, five months, he's dating someone else, this girl might be pregnant, just move on, y'all. Just just, just let it go. Just let it go because this is sad. I, I, it's not healthy okay you're putting yourself down you know if if you had this conversation with your mother or your father they would be asking you are you sniffing paint you know what's wrong with your brain you know so I'm saying leave your ex in the past and move forward do better you know um, be the one that he wishes he never left be the one he can't have anymore be the one he always talks about and is proud to have dated don't be the one that's the crazy stalker who, you know, will let him in, in your house at 2 o'clock in the morning and then when he doesn't text you the next day, you're crying to all your friends about, don't be that ex. Be the ex that he can, he can brag about and say, oh, I used to date her. Yeah, be that ex, the one he can never have and the one he was lucky to even be able to be in your presence. Be that ex, okay? Um, think about Beyonce's ex. <laughs> Look at him okay if she had stayed with him where would she be like seriously think about this Beyonce has stayed with that ex if y'all know who she her ex is is he was just you know he wasn't famous or anything I think she had went to high school with him or something but she would not be where she is today okay so just think about that y'all you're supposed to break up for a reason something he could that person could be holding you back in life and you just don't even know it and you're so blinded by love and feelings and emotions that you're missing out on something that's on on its way to you that's going to make things 10 times better okay 